Well, just very proud of our team. Uh, we've been an outstanding road team uh, all year long, uh, whether we've been on a neutral floor or a road floor. And to win the way we did tonight, getting down 17-4, to four, I think it was our largest comeback of the season. And to do it against a team like this uh, speaks volume of just how well we're playing because we took a, a great punch in the mouth to start the game. Um, and our guys just stayed poised and kept fighting. And I'm very, very proud of how they hung in there. Thank you, Coach. This time we'll take uh, questions for the student athletes. Drew, what does it say about you guys that you face that deficit and you come back with a resilient effort? You know, like I said, um, basically this whole season, we've, we've got a chip on our shoulders. And, and uh, you know, when that happens, plus the chemistry that we have together of, you know, us being basically brothers, it, you know, it, it works. Um, we know where we're supposed to be at on the floor, and, and you know we can kind of get each other's timing down of uh, where we will be. So I think that you know we have an edge up on some teams when it comes to that. Right here, Tony. How much did you guys feed off the crowd, and were you surprised that it was so loud and there were so many Lobo fans there? Only oh, we was surprised. We knew our fans always has our back. They always cheered for us at the pit. It's, it's like it's just a new atmosphere. It's, it's nothing new for us. We're kind of used to it. Even on the road, yeah. Mike here. Drew, Dave Olison, Studio G, UNLV. Any added motivation for you playing against Mike Mosier and UNLV? Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a rival game, I'd say. Um, they beat us pretty bad at their house, and uh, you know we beat them pretty bad at ours. So uh, there was definitely a little grudge match to that. But um, you know, I, I think Mosier's uh, right where I am, basically. Um, thinking that uh, you know he, he might have deserved a few more votes for the MVP so I know he was upset as well as I was so uh, you know we were both uh, both going at it drew the last uh, you guys didn't have a field goal the last six and a half minutes I think but you guys hit all 11 free throws can you talk a little bit, a little bit about that your, your free throws down the stretch oh yeah uh, you know when we concentrate we're actually a really good free throw shooting team um, you know Demetrius and, and Kendall hit some really clutch th uh, free throws that uh, you know boosted our confidence a little, a little bit and uh, you know got our confidence up on the defensive end of just getting one more stop. Um, like I said, when our offense isn't clicking really, you know, we have to dig our heels in and, and uh, play defense, and, and that's what we were able to do. Drew, you talk about the MVP and having an extra chip on your shoulder. Do you think that might be even more the case tomorrow against San Diego State? Well, at this point, um, I think our chip is trying to win a championship. Um, you know, like I said, he got the he got the honors, and, and you know, hat goes off to him. But uh, four o'clock tomorrow, it's it's uh, championship time. It's it's trying to boost uh, our seating and, and uh, you know, hopefully boost our rating as a team. Tony, UNLV has a very aggressive defense. They go for the turnover. What did you guys do offensively to combat that? Well, we figured that they, they're going to drive us, so we have to we have to play good defense, help be in gaps, and then offensively we have to just push it because we both a good transition team. It's all about transition defense. Tony, again, your bench outscores their bench, and a in a three day tournament like that is that particularly important as far as starters getting rest and, and everybody uh, getting involved in it. Yeah, it's very, it's very important because the bench got to keep the flow going. We can't just have a starters playing good and bench not playing good. We just They keep the flow going, keep our confidence up. Okay, at this time we'll dismiss our student athletes. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thanks, guys. Good job. That's the stuff you need. Yep. We'll now take questions for Coach Alford. Coach, how would you describe the emotion inside that locker room right now? Um, just like, like it is when we win. Uh, this is an exciting group. They love to win, and I think they had a lot of fun today. This was a, it was a fun game. It was a fun game to coach. It was a fun game to play. Um, you had a lot of enthusiasm in the building, and I thought both teams played really hard. Both teams wanted to win, so uh, that's that's why you compete. That's what you play for, and 
and then obviously trying to get to that championship game. And uh, it's been a phenomenal year. This has been a great group, a very a group that uh, was a little young and immature last year, rightly so. We were going through it for the first time, and I think the experiences they got last year have really helped them this year. And to go through what we've gone through to get to 26 and 6 and have a chance to play for another championship here one weekend after we just won a championship uh, speaks volumes of what these young men have done. Let's go right here first. Steve, the uh, difference in the paint was uh, huge, especially in the second half. Was that something you focused on? Well, we got Drew Gordon. Um, and I think uh, um, the coaches would tell you, you got somebody like that, uh, he's a handful. You know, he's 19 and 13 again today. Uh, played 38 minutes, uh, fouled, I think Masamba fouled out. Um, you know, his man goes for six and nine. So you look at it game in, game out, that's what Drew Gordon does. And we've got a horse there, and we just fed that horse today. Coach, can you talk a little bit about tomorrow night, what you guys need to do? Well, to it's, a great, it's a great game, great matchup. Um, they beat us at our place. We beat them at third place, and now we get a neutral floor setting for the rubber match. And... Uh, Coach Fisher's done a tremendous job with this team uh, to lose four starters and to have this, this team do the things that they've done is a credit to him and a credit to his staff. Uh, they got some special players, um, starting with Jamal Franklin, but not obviously ending with that. They've got a lot of talent on this team. I think they're deep as well. So they're going to be a little bit more rested, um, but we got to get our guys out of here and, and get them down as quickly as they can. And uh, the staff will work through the night to try to get a good game plan. But it's got the makings of a, a, a great matchup. And we're obviously very proud of our women, too. Uh, it's unique. You've got uh, San Diego State and New Mexico on both sides, the men and the women tomorrow. So that makes it a lot of fun for those two schools. Coach, when you're down 12-0, 17-4, do you say anything particular? Do you uh, change anything? You just try to keep them calm? Yeah, I think there's times that, uh, you know, we would be upset and, you know, jump into our guys if, we're, if we felt like we were flat or if we weren't working hard. And, and I didn't sense that. Uh, I didn't think we weren't working hard or that we came out flat. We got out of rhythm a little bit. Kendall got two fouls in a minute and a half. That hadn't happened all year long. So we had to sub, obviously, a lot quicker than we wanted to. And one of our better players is on the bench. Uh, and they're making everything. Um, so I, it was more of just calling time out and trying to get our guys to just – we talked about poise. If we had one word the entire game, it was poise. I bet I put it on the board 15 times and, and then said it probably another 15 times. Um, you can't get too excited and you can't get too down. And we've got a lot of confidence in this team. And I think uh, the coaches wanted to show the players how much we trust them. Don't panic. They, they've given you a good punch in the face right here to start the game. But um, – there's a lot of game. There's a lot of game left. There's about 17 minutes to go. I think they scored 17 points in the first three minutes of the half, and then only scored 17 points the last 17 minutes of the half. So, you know, after that initial barrage of points, we settled down, and the rest of the night played extremely good defense. And uh, so, I was very proud of how we responded to that. Coach Demetrius did a great job again of drawing contact. Can you talk a little bit about that? And well, I think Demetrius is playing at a very high level, uh, and we've seen it coming. Uh, he's very healthy right now, uh, other than the busted lip he got tonight. Uh, he's extremely healthy. He's doing a lot of good things, not just at the offensive end. I think his trials that he went through early in the season were at the defensive end. And now that he understands that, you know, if you're going to play at New Mexico, you got to play at that end too, uh, he gets more minutes. And he's learned to play at both ends now. He's a very good defender for us. He's a good rebounder. He's physical and strong and athletic. Uh, and he's really scoring the ball well. And, and then I thought, I thought Cam's minutes were really good. Uh, Cam did a great job defensively on their bigs, made a huge shot for us, got several really good rebounds. And then Jamal Fenton, I couldn't get him really in the flow as much because we went with the bigger guard uh, in Hugh for defensive purposes. But I thought uh, Jamal, the minutes he got were very, very productive. Coach, just talk a little bit about the crowd tonight. You talked about tomorrow being more of a neutral environment. What do you think of it tonight? Well, our fans have been tremendous uh, all year, and, and Tony mentioned it. Um, they've traveled well for us. Um, you know, we've been a lot of places this year, and they've really traveled well. But uh, obviously, uh, with this being a league tournament, they get access to more tickets, and 
it was phenomenal. Um, you know, I caught a little bit of the women's game, so on TV this afternoon when I was having some rest and uh, getting to watch them a little bit, and I saw how many Lobo fans were at that game, so um, it was terrific. We had them at all corners of the building and um, makes it for a fun week because they get to stay the full week here and get to support both programs. So you have Lobo fans in the building uh, from, I guess, their games at 1, so from about noon to 6 tomorrow, there will be a lot of Lobo fans in here, which will be a lot of fun.